yo 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 what is up everybody welcome 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 all right so today as you can tell by the title of this video is a new spotlight um review of the tides armor i forgot this hero came out yesterday so i got on yesterday night and i seen him and i was like ouch so now we're gonna go for him um hopefully we can get him pretty early on i really don't feel like spending a lot of diamonds on him i don't even know if he is good or not uh i don't even want to upgrade him right now because as y'all know i am about to hit level 110 and i have to upgrade other heroes i know what gear i need so i don't want to focus on this hero but he is a new hero so i am going to focus on him um, i want to see about how good he is so here is our first pull no luck all right our second pull, no luck. Third pull, I think last month we got our hero on the fifth pull. So maybe we can get lucky with that again. This will be our fifth and final. No. Okay. Rocking on number six. All right. Got him on six. Not too bad. I actually like his card. I think it's a pretty nice looking card. All right. So he kind of reminds me of the Scorpion Queen, I think it is. Um... All right, I mean that's that'll work. I mean, ain't no big deal. Uh, did we? No, that was an achievement. Um, I guess I beat that. All right. Now let's. Uh, let's see. Is he a front line? He looks like he'll be a central hero. Actually, he is a front line, so that could be very useful. Let's get him to I guess one oh six. Let's um, fuse him up to at least red so we can complete one more hero at the red challenge, you know. Trying to complete that. We'll get some more all hero power. Probably put us over the top for um, 2 million all hero power. Maybe. That'd be kind of nice. Right. Nothing too crazy we're giving him right now. Right, slowly creeping up to 10,000 all hero power. I mean, 10,000 power on him. All right, he is red or is this orange? I think this is orange. Is that red? I don't know. I'm colorblind. Okay, yeah, that's red. All right. I'm sorry. I'm colorblind, and that just looks very similar to me. Um, let's craft this real quick. I think I'm going to leave him uh, at this phase of or um, red just for right now so I can focus on um, what all I'm going to need and whatnot for this new level um, 110 whenever it comes. I want to make sure I have everything I need and focused up. All right, so we'll stop there with him. Let him sit. All right, so we have Waving Giant Claws. That is his ultimate. All right, let's upgrade all of these to level 6. So that goes up 40 damage each time. This one goes up 50 damage. This one goes up Armor Penetration 19. And this one is Armor Increase. All right, so this is going to be a nice tank probably. All right, so Kraken spins and waves his giant claws to cause multiple um, times of damage, stunning the enemy who receives multiple times of damage. Okay, so his ultimate is just going to be a spin, I'm guessing. And I don't know if he's going to hit more than one because it could, but if not, whoever he hits multiple times, it will stun them. So that's going to be pretty decent i guess maybe if like an arcane sapper is on our side of the field and he hits him but if not then i don't really know smash of tides kraken smashes the ground causing damage and breaking the ground after a short delay the water will spout from the cracks causing damage and knocking the enemies into the air so i don't remember what hero that is but they also knock a hero into the air um so that's going to be kind of interesting to see how that animation even looks where he cracks the ground, water comes out, stuns them, and puts them into the air. Heavy armor guard enters the guarding st um, status, m wait, immunizing all the, wait up, uh, I could have sworn it went down, 
um, immunizing all the negative effect and reducing um, received damage. When he receives a physical type of damage, the physical attack of the corresponding enemy will be reduced. Okay, so just say an arcane sapper hits him, he goes into this phase, the arcane sapper um attack will be reduced i'm pretty sure that's how it works just i'm kind of guessing um sea tide guarding the power of the tides always guards the um tides armor increases the physical defense and it will rise waves uh when kraken enters the guarding stat status causing continuous damage to the surrounding enemies based on kraken's armor value I have no idea what the hell that means. Um, so I think he's going to be a pretty good War of Gods hero. Alright, Tide's Armor. That is what the name of that is. And I do want to put him into the training real quick. Because I'm going to train him as I do with all of the new heroes. At least for a little bit. And probably just let him die off. You know, basically how I do it. Alright, so let's jump into some arena. Let's see. Uh, not arena. Um, campaign. I want to see how he's going to perform all right so he's going to walk in that's the crack all right so i thought it was going to keep him in the air wow he died pretty fast all right that's fair enough all right let's jump back a few stages let's see he's going to walk up He's just going to do a little slam that cracks the ground, boost them back a little bit. I want to see his ultimate. All right, so that's kind of cool. I think that's the energy. I mean, like, I don't know what it's called. But that does some actually pretty nice damage. His ultimate. All right, so his ultimate is actually the overpowered skill. Okay, so those two i don't know exactly which one that is but his ultimate is yeah his ultimate is the one we want to upgrade and then the other one where he has like a little shield and it just does a lot of damage like five thousand three thousand seven thousand so that's the ultimates we want to upgrade first i think he's actually gonna be a pretty good war of gods hero i think he will be definitely would like to see him bow so his hp regen is not so strong i think he might be worth getting to orange i mean red plus four let's see if we can get i never done this in a hero review before where we checked him out in the war of gods but i i think he might i think he might stand pretty good um and just, I don't know where I'm going to use him at, but I want to focus on the War of Gods with him. So I'm going to use him in like a team by himself. If we get somebody, if we don't, then, oh well. Alright, we'll count to 10. If we don't get anybody, then that's going to be a wrap. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. If they don't back out as well, because they may even back out, because I'm going to drop him first. Let's see all right so I kind of just want to have a team where it's mainly just checking out his ultimate so kind of like what he's doing with this I'm actually even gonna copy the spell dude and then no I'm gonna copy I'm gonna, I, I got this and I don't want to get these heroes the hot when I don't want to use them Oh wait, we're all right, we're already using the death mage. Alright, let's check out this, see how he performs. I know for a fact this poison one is gonna do some damage, but I don't wanna lose, obviously. Hmm. We'll see. And let me know if y'all like how I do the hero review with him in the War of Gods. Maybe we'll do that for every hero, if y'all like it. Um, okay, my first impressions, I know I didn't use the right team set for him, but he's actually not really impressing me whatsoever. Um, uh, I don't know if I like him. Hmm. 
Okay, so it looks like he gained a little bit more HP back. So yeah, it's definitely gonna we're gonna definitely have to see a good team setup with him. I kinda just wanted to check him out himself. So he does not do a lot of damage. I don't know how I feel about him. Like actually talking. I don't I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about him. But as of right now, I wasn't too fond of him. Let's throw a Master Mage team in. Hopefully we can win a little fast and get that over with. And then uh I'll be a wrap for this here review. So at least y'all got a War of Gods playthrough. And then y'all got to check him out in the War of Gods. I know I didn't really use a good team for him. Um, I'll probably try to throw him in like one of my cleric teams. I don't know, man. That's going to be hard to have him. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I know I've been saying we'll see, but we'll see. As you can see, right here is Milo playing tug of war with Emily right here. Yeah. All right, so Master Mage team, will you do me justice? Come on. Bam, bam. Yes. All right, nice. Got a little, nice little sleek little win right here. We also needed a win, so it kind of paid off in a way. But y'all, that's going to wrap up this spotlight review. I know I normally never go past this, but um, we are currently very, very close to leveling up. I think that's like 26,000 XP. And as y'all know, we just used a lot of diamonds. So now we can grab even more potions. I'm going to show y'all all of this in a second. We have oh, 16,000 XP with those potions and 37,000 XP with those. So it's getting crazy. Very close to leveling. Oh man, I just I can't wait. I'm trying not to use any potions, so we or I will use potions on a day I'm off and I can actually live stream me hitting it. But if not, I th I want to say next week is when I'm probably gonna um live stream me hitting it. Uh, probably next Tuesday or Thursday, depending on how close I am and depending on how much potions I'm gonna have to use. But y'all, that is gonna um wrap it up for the new hero spotlight. I kind of forgot his name, Tide Tidal Wave or something like that. I don't freaking know. Not actually impressed as I thought I was gonna be reading his skills, but I guess we'll just have to keep playing with them and see how it goes. Let me know what y'all think of the new hero Tide's armor. That's it. His card looks pretty sick. I just I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. But y'all, thank y'all for watching. Peace out. Have a fantastic day. And I will see y'all next time. Adios.